In this video, I'm going to show you some of my favourite in-camera transitions you can do right now on your Osmo Pocket that not only look great and are easy to do, they're also super simple to edit and put together. So, let's get straight to it, shall we? So number one, we've got the whip transition. Now the whip transition is pretty common these days, but actually works really, really well on the Osmo Pocket. Now you want to be in either FPV or tilt locked mode. So then the camera will pretty much follow wherever you point it. And then it's dead simple. You simply rotate the camera, either right or left. And then when you go into the next shot, you just reverse it. So I'm gonna flip my camera to the right, right now. And then I'm gonna come in, following the same direction into my next shot. You then put them together and job done. Now there's actually another variation you can do on that with the Osmo Pocket, and I like to call it the Osmo Slap. Now again, you wanna be in FPV or tilt lock mode. And this is really simple. Take your finger and just give the gimbal a bit of a prod. And it'll do that. It shouldn't do any damage. These things are brushless motors. The, the gimbal is designed to take a few knocks. If you do this every now and again, you're not gonna cause any damage to your gimbal. But if you'd rather not do it, that's entirely up to you. I've been doing it a little bit and it's caused no problems at all. So keep that in mind, do what you wanna do. But anyway, take your finger, ping it. And then you've got two options. Move to your next location using the same finger you can do it again and it'll whip out and back in or swap fingers do the opposite and then you'll get a similar effect to the last one let me give you a quick demonstration if i use my left finger left finger it'll look something like this and it'll whip back in or if i use my left finger and then my right finger it'll look something like this and there you go there's the whip transition or the osmo slap now the next one, simple, 360 degree spin. Now you can do this basically on any of the settings and you simply spin around. Ha! <sighs> and then in your next location, spin in exactly the same direction and then you just put the cut right in the middle. The spinning motion will cause motion blur in your camera and then you can use that to hide the cut. Now you will get more motion blur with a lower shutter speed. So the lower your shutter speed is, the more motion blur you'll get which should help to hide the cut a little bit better. So that's where something like ND filters can really come into play. Now for my transition number three, this is a similar take to the hand in front of the camera. But what I like to do is just bring it to my chest. So make sure your Osmo Pocket is on tilt lock mode. So the camera will try and lock forwards. And then all you're doing is tilting it forwards like so, and it will keep looking at me, bring it to your chest, and then back out again. And then again, you repeat the process in your next location and job done. So let me show you that one in action, shall we? And there you go, easy as that. Right, this is a bit sketchy. Now for my number four, it's another 360. But this time you're not rotating, just the camera is. Now this one works best with tilt lock enabled because it'll keep the horizon level and you don't need to be quite as accurate with it because it can be a little bit fiddly to do. But it's really simple, hold your camera and just rotate it 360 degrees. And then to do the transition, you simply repeat the exact same process in a different location, making sure to go in the same direction like so. And my next one, transition number five is simple. It's the front flip or back flip and it's exactly as it says on the tin you just do a front flip or a back flip with your Osmo pocket and then just do exactly the same thing in the next location and for this one I'd recommend being in FPV mode and it's dead simple we just grab the camera and we just rotate it forward we're down to the ground behind us and then back to me do that a little bit quicker repeat it again in the next location and job done And then for my last transition, transition number six, it's the barrel roll. Now the barrel roll is very similar to my other two, but rather than front flipping, back flipping, or rotating 360 degrees, you're just doing a barrel roll to either the left or the right. Now this one can take a bit of contortioning with your wrist, but you'll soon get used to it. So we simply grab the Osmo and we're just gonna flip it all the way over, like so. And again, move to your next location, repeat the exact same process and just cut right in the middle. Again, you want to be in FPV mode for this one, not in tilt lock because that will try and lock the horizon. Another quick tip, don't go too quick for this one because the gimbal will get a little bit confused. You'll, you'll learn the pace that you need to do if you're using the Osmo Pocket. So let's give it a go, shall we? And that's it. 
all those transitions done. Now they do actually work on any camera, they just work particularly well on the Osmo Pocket thanks to that gimbal. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did give me a like, if you've got any comments or feedback shove them down below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, bye!